Hi, my name is Naya Mani. Welcome to my channel. And if you want to see how I achieved this curly hair look, then keep on watching. Alright guys, these are the products you'll need. A spray bottle, a nice leave-in conditioner, a cream, an oil of your choice, um, a curling custard of your choice, and then some type of gel. Right now I will be using Eco Styler Gel. You also need a Denman brush and any type of comb will be fine. Um, so to get right into it, I start off by parting my hair. I know that I want a side part, so I'm going to section off um, one side, then later on I'm going to section off the front, and then the other side. So you see me doing that right now. You guys may have heard of the LOC method before, but today we're doing LCO, so leave-in cream oil. And the reason for that is you want to seal in the thickest product in your hair with an oil. Oil seals in moisturizer, so you apply the oil right after the cream because that's what's really going to lock in and give you maximum definition and maximum moisturization in your hairs and in your curls so I started off by saturating my hair with the spray bottle and then I sprayed my hair with the Myel leave-in conditioner now feel free to use whatever leave-in conditioner works best for you I use Myel because it's what I have on hand it's not my favorite my favorite is the as I am leave-in conditioner but it all works it doesn't all work the same but these two products kind of work the same um, in reference to this specific hairstyle then I'm going to grab my cream I'm going to apply a a little over like a nickel size amount of cream but you'll be able to know you'll be able to tell how much cream you need depending on the size of the sections you're working with so like my section isn't super big but if you're working with half your head or maybe a quarter then the section then the amount that you're using will vary in size um, I'm going to distribute that real nicely with my hands and then use the Denman brush to go ahead and define the curls again. The reason why I'm going in with the Denman brush over and over again after each product is to really make sure it's getting from root to tip and it's getting into every single curl. And I'm going to speed this up for you guys later in the video, but I'm going to show you step by step first, like in real time, exactly what I do so you can see how to achieve like this really, really nice defined look. And as you can see, my curls are already defined and I haven't even applied the curling custard yet. So right after this, I applied my oil to seal in that cream, make sure my hair is nice and moisturized. That way when you apply gels and things like that, like you won't have to deal with any of those problems of the gel drying out your hair. So it took me a little time to open up the curling custard, but you want a custard that kind of looks like this, like it's thick, it's clear, and it really, really, really defines the curls. Like that, that right there is what makes the curls pop. So you're really going to work that in there with your fingers and you can even apply it um, or comb it through with the Denman brush as well. Um, so then you're going to apply like a little bit, I want to say a nickel size amount of gel as well. But like I said, it, it really depends on the section, on the size of the section. If your section is bigger, then apply more. If your section is smaller, then apply less, obviously. But comb that in, rake that through. And as you can see, my curls are already starting to look real defined. Like I'm going to grab that Denman brush. And you're just going to see them pop. The curls are going to pop. So when they dry, you can only imagine what they're going to look like. The Denman brush does 
cause the curls to kind of clump up so depending on the look you're going for you can separate them or you know leave it like that or whatever the case may be but I just take the section that I already did um, clip it up with like a butterfly clip just to get it out of the way and move on to the next section so as you guys can see I told you I did one half and now I'm doing the back and the front's going to be another section the section I'm working on right now is a little bit bigger so I'm going to apply a little bit more product Same steps again, I saturated my hair with water, applied my leave-in, applied my cream. Now I'm going to seal that cream with the oil. After the oil, I'm going to apply my curling custard, and then on top of the curling custard, I'm gonna apply the gel. Um, and this may seem like a lot of products, guys, but I swear my hair is not weighed down. It is like weight is bouncy, and you'll see at the end of the video what I mean. to throw this in there but guys make sure you watch this video all the way to the end um, I have a little segment at the end that I want to introduce to you guys and get your opinion on so please watch this video all the way through This might look like a pretty big section guys, but that's literally because it is. Like a wash and go is supposed to be fast. You're supposed to be literally able to wash and go. And we all know that's not realistic, but you wanna be able to get this done in a short amount of time. So this whole process probably took me about 20 minutes. So y'all know we don't use towels to dry our hair. So you're just gonna grab, you know, a old t-shirt and scrunch up. That way it'll define the curls, have you looking right and get rid of any of that excess water. At this point, my curls look good, but my hair is still wet. So what I'm gonna do next is just put my hair up into a pineapple. And at this point I would get dressed or you know do my makeup but since I'm just chilling in the house I'm gonna just walk around for a little bit babe did you start drinking your water <laughs> why not I just want to be on the same page um did you figure out what you want to eat 
you want to go to the grocery store, what do you want to eat? So I like to do my edges first um, for no specific reason just because so I'm gonna grab some Eco Styler gel and an edge to brush and just get to swooping my edges how I like them getting those nice little baby hairs all curled up looking cute and then I'm going to diffuse my hair. thing we're going to do is grab our blow dryer so if you guys have a diffuser head for the blow dryer that's even better but if not it really isn't necessary just follow these same steps without putting the blow dryer like super close to your scalp but I set my blow dryer on medium heat and the medium like blow setting that way it wasn't too intense for my hair um, and I'm really not trying to do this to get my hair a hundred percent dry I want to get it about 75 percent dry and then it'll dry the rest just while I'm walking around the house or when I go out or whatever the case may be so just flip your head over and use the diffuser to kind of scrunch up dry your hair and then also get to the roots um, this will act as like the same exact thing that you did with the t-shirt. You're scrunching up to dry the hair, but also to find the curls. Getting to the roots is just making sure that your roots are dry as well. When you feel like you did a good job with your blow dryer and your diffuser, grab you a metal pick. Not them plastic picks, because the plastic picks literally don't do shit. Grab a metal pick and pick at the roots. So you want to go like down to your roots and up. But these are the finished results guys. I hope you love this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Before I go, I wanted to implement something a little different to this channel. I want to make sure that I am giving the recognition and support to all my friends that I think deserve it because they're amazing people and damn near all of them have businesses and I want to make sure that anybody who's watching this has an opportunity to purchase something from them or, you know, get in touch with them if that's something that you're interested in doing as well. So hopefully you guys saw my top. This is a bison culture top. It says bison on it. I absolutely love this crop top. Let me see if you can see the whole thing. Hopefully you can. Um, but this was made by one of my very close friends. Her name is Tony. Tony has a brand called UL Global, which I can see going straight to the top. So I just want to put you guys onto it before it's exclusive and you can't get your hands on it. So she has socks. She has shirts, pants, hats. She even makes rugs. Like Tony is super dope. And somewhere on the screen, I'm going to have her Instagram so that you can tune in, get in contact with her and hopefully make a purchase. All right, so, you know, support black businesses, tell a friend to tell a friend, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.